Hi, this is the vlog junkie from my Mac bus, and uh, today is October 26th or Leopard Day. So today, uh, here with me to introduce our Leopard's new features as soon as it works with machines. Let's go. All right, go. Okay, so I'm going to look at um, the all-new redesigned Finder. And if you've been using iTunes, which hopefully you have, you see it looks very much like iTunes. So we've got the sidebar there, but we've also got this cool thing called cover flow. So if you've ever wanted to just scroll through really big icons of your applications, now you can do it. Um, so we've got all our icons there, including a cute new icon for front row and everything you might need. Now we can jump to something called Quick Loop, which is where I can have a look at my documents. And over here, if I click on the file, click on Quick Look, sorry, the eye icon, we can click to go to full screen. And so without having to open any program within the Finder itself, you can have a look at your documents. And I can even zoom in and scroll around a bit. And then just jump out straight away. So you can do this for all sorts of stuff. Alright, so all this here is the redesigned dock at the bottom, including the brand new feature called Stacks. I've got my dock at the bottom here, and the cool thing about Stacks is that it will expand out in this little fan. We can zoom in here and have a look. So, it spreads out in the fan to show you what's there. In this case, for downloads, I've only got a few PDFs, but if I look on applications, I've got quite a big list of applications. So it automatically opens up the stack into a column view. So it's pretty nice. And okay, with the all new spaces, what I've got here is uh, a solution to a problem that I've been having that I love expose. Let's say I've got you know iTunes, address book, and all sorts of stuff open press your expose key and you can see all your windows there. However, one thing that's bugged me is that it's always, you know, it's it's sort of a bit here and there, but with spaces, what you can do is I can configure it with the F8 key and I can drag out each application window or maybe more than one application window to a set of virtual desktops that I like. So in this case, I can have my um, Safari one space and quickly jump over to say my address book in another space and let's say if I need to shift the windows around I can shift it down or left and right and you can even reorganize the whole window page so that if you're compulsive obsessive like me I can have all my spaces exactly the way I like it. Alright so we're going to look at a cool new feature of Leopard which is backdrops in Photobook and iChat. So it's going to ask me to step out of the frame for a while to detect the background. So I'm going to go over to effects, get something cool like clouds, and it's asking me to step out of the frame. And it's detected the background, so I come back in and hey, I'm in the clouds. Uh, All right. You want to switch a different background? Um, then we can switch over to something fun like uh, maybe swimming with the fishes. This one works quite well. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. Like, I see a shark over there. 